So right before the end of June, Microsoft has come out with updates for the Surface Duo and the Duo 2. Looking at the update from Microsoft's website, we see that the update for the Surface Duo is labeled 2022-831.13 and for the Surface Duo 2 is 2023-427.16. So for both the Surface Duo and the Duo 2, that's just a slight bump in the numbering system from the previous update. Both of these updates say that they address scenarios outlined in the Android Security Bulletin and they address issues with some Surface Duo's power cycling or in some cases being bricked. Now, I didn't experience that issue with either of my Surface Duos, but I decided to go ahead with this update because, of course, I need to know what the update's going to do for the phone so that I can tell you about it. These updates came in at roughly 429 megabytes for the Surface Duo 2 and a little bit less, I think, for the Surface Duo. My experience thus far on both the Duo and the Duo 2 is that, in general, both devices seem to be running smoothly. I didn't have to reset either one of my launchers, which some people have reported as an issue after this latest update. One issue I did have with the original Surface Duo earlier today is that when I powered it on, I was unable to open any of the folders on my home screen. I was able to scroll up and down and go into my applications, but I could not go into any of the folders on the home screen. Now simply just powering the display off and powering it back on seems to have fixed that issue. But the device in general seems to be really snappy and seems like it's pretty stable. Now to be fully honest with you, my secondary SIM card is not in either of these devices, and I recently wiped both devices. This was so that when this update came out, I would have a fresh start on the devices. The Surface Duo 2, I completely wiped and set up as a fresh device. The Surface Duo, I wiped and set up as a backup of my Z Flip 3. And so far on both devices, like I said before, it's been pretty smooth. I've had no major issues with any of the apps that I have set up and running. I used the Surface Duo two days ago to just stream music for eight straight hours and it worked flawlessly. I have not done any like hardcore gaming or anything like that on it, so this is where I would rely on you guys for your input. Let me know in the comments down below if you've had any issues since the update. If you have, what are those issues and what you did to fix or get around those issues. My future plans for these devices are that once the Android 13 ROM comes out and it's a little more stable than it is right now, I plan on installing it on at least one of these devices, if not both of them, so that I can get a Pixel Fold-like experience on the Surface Duo. I would really love to see what Android 13 can do on both of these devices. And I have a feeling that a lot of the things that people have complained about will be fixed or could be fixed with a version of Android 13. Do you guys have any plans on installing that modified ROM on your device? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's really all I had for today's video. I just wanted to put out something to let you know that one, I really haven't abandoned my Surface Duos. I still use them, still play with them on a regular basis, and I'm always keeping up with the latest updates for them. Work's been a little hectic for me lately, and I've had some personal health issues, uh, so I haven't been able to put out as much content as I normally would. So those of you who continue to watch, and those of you who continue to communicate with me in the comments section and on social media, I greatly appreciate it. I will try to get back into a better rhythm of producing content for you guys, it's just that one, this is kind of a hobby for me right now. And two, work has been a little hectic, like I said before. So thank you for sticking around. For those of you who are new, thank you for showing up. And if you like what you see here today, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave a comment down below because I always try to respond to them. As always, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Have a great day.
Oh. Well, you're still here. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. And since you're still here, why not check out another quality video from Reviews for Nerds? I'd greatly appreciate it.